What's up you guys, it's Message here and this is my first guides done quick. So without further ado, let's get into it. So uh, let's start off with the minimal requirements first. We'll have to get 43 prayer in order to use the protect from melee prayer. Then in next up we'll need at least 5 quests. The most efficient ones are Haunted Mine, Lost City, Trinome Village, What Lies Below and Vampire Slayer. You want these particular 5 quests because those are the most efficient for training melee. You can also do other quests, those will be in the description. Then let's head on over to your equipment. The best in slot gear for melee training is on the screen right now. As you can see you don't actually need this. It is however less efficient to use worse gear like I am using right now. What gear you will be using will of course be dependent on how much cash you have available and how much quest requirements you have done for certain armor. Generally, when deciding what gear to get, you will just be focused on getting the maximum prayer bonus. This will enable you to last longer inside the Nightmare Zone and that will get you more XP each trip. Next up is your inventory. This is what mine looks like, but in general you just want both potions to run out at the same time for maximal efficiency. If you test it out and notice that one of them runs out early, adjust your inventory accordingly. If this is your first Nightmare Zone trip, you will first have to get inside the Nightmare Zone without these overload potions. Then search the war chest as you get more points, click on benefits and buy some overloads. Since the potions that you buy in the reward chest won't automatically appear in your inventory, you will first have to take them from this keg. Now that we've gotten that all out of the way, you will first want to deposit money inside Dominic's coffer. You will need 26k for the method we are going to use. When you've got the money inside Dominic's coffer, you can select Dream in his right click option menu, click on Rumble and Customizable Heart. Then when you have done that, you can go to the middle of the circle, click on Drink Potion and select the quests that I just showed you or that are in the description. Once inside, click on your Protract From Me Lead Prayer and drink an overload. The rest is pretty much AFKable. If you are using OS Buddy, it will show you when to drink a potion. Click on the potion and you will be set for the next couple of minutes. After a while, power-ups will randomly spawn all over the floor of the Nightmare Zone. I will put on screen which ones you can pick up and which ones you should not. If you are using a special attack weapon, you will be able to get about 60k XP per hour. This will of course depend on all of your skills. Once your prayer potions and overloads have run out, you will most likely die due to the fact that you can't use the protect from melee overhead anymore. This means that you will gain the reward points earned when inside the nightmare zone and that you can spend them in the rewards chest. If you want to get a little bit of money back that you spent on prayer potions, you should buy herb boxes. You can buy 15 of them each day, so be sure to include them in your daily runs. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed my first guys done quick. Be sure to like the video if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Bye bye.